Hi, in this tutorial and the next two tutorials I'll be talking about creating brushes and we'll see three different ways to do that. Now in this one I'm going to talk about this brush editor and the next one I'll talk about how we can create our custom brush and uh, that brush can be pretty much anything we want and in the third video I'll talk about creating animated brushes we have some here in GIMP I'll show you how you can do that on your own now let's just click on this brush here and see what kind of options this brush editor gives us now here first thing we select the shape a circle, a square or a diamond let's leave the circle on here we can select the radius here we can select spikes and to see how that works we need to adjust the aspect ratio you see how that works here we can adjust the angle the spacing I'll show you what that is in a second now the hardness this is uh, to be a fuzzy or a hard edge brush like that We can choose how many spikes we want let's create something like that and this is our custom brush now we close that and automatically it uh, appears here in our brushes and now let's see what the spacing does let's select some color here example this green color select our brush tool and just click here and if I click and drag like that with this spacing right now you see how my brush strokes are being applied if I increase that you see how the spacing between each brush stroke increases so this is what this spacing here controls and that's basically it for this brush editor you have some uh, control over creating brushes but uh, not all that much and here we don't have uh, many different options we have this elliptical feather brush we can create click OK and you see we create another brush here you can also create a rectangular feather brush here you can choose the settings width height feathering spacing again just click on that and you see how this brush appears here let's increase the scale so we have some options here which um, allows us to edit and configure brushes but uh, they are pretty limited so in the next video I'll show you how you can create pretty much any brush that you like bye for now